Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, the seventh game in the Ace Attorney series. My name is the Fightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today Oh boy, I I kind of I kind of dreaded and anticipated what happened, and sure enough, it did. While we may have won one battle, we may have condemned someone else. Entirely based on circumstance. So our goal for today, find the true killer. Let's go. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day. Today is July 21st, 113 p.m. at the Right Anything Agency. Well, that was a big sigh, Athena. Did you lose the case? No, we won. The defendant was found not guilty. Huh? Then why is it dejected? Daddy, were you being mean to her? What? Picking on the new kid? Man, that's not cool, Mr. Wright. Not cool. Wait a minute. Talk about false accusations. We were able to prove the defendant's innocence. But then Sasha got arrested instead. So that's what happened. That's too bad. So what are you two going to do now? Uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I don't believe for a second that Sasha did what they're accusing her of. I, I don't believe it either. I would give up. Boss, let's go see Sasha and tell her we want to represent her. Right now, I imagine she's still being questioned by the police. Let's get started on the investigation first and look for proof of her innocence. Sounds like a plan. Just leave the office to me and Polly, Daddy. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Thanks. If you could, uh, organize the evidence and clean the office, that would be great. Ah, I meant anything I could do as a lawyer. I didn't say evidence given to Apollo. Well, that takes care of that. Time to head to the scene of the crime. Wow, they drained the pool. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, Orca Pool. Huh? There's no water in the pool. Hola! Where are you? Where'd that come from? I can hear- I can hear her at the bottom of the pool, so maybe there's some water down there. Really? Oh, that sounds so sad. Maybe she misses Sasha. Careful there, you shouldn't get right up to the edge like that. Who is this? Ah, of course it's Fulbright. You don't want to end up like the victim! Besides, the police are still conducting their investigation here. Don't go poking around. Detective Fulbright? Yeah. Is something wrong, Miss Lawyer? You look angry. I object to you addressing Miss Buckler. Oh, um, <clears throat> Detective. I'd like to ask you some questions about the case, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. What evidence do we have first off? Okay, it doesn't look like we really got rid of a lot of evidence. We still have a lot here. Why arrest Sasha? Miss Buckler is 100% innocent, so why did you arrest her? I understand your desire to believe in her, but the fact remains that she's suspicious. Right now, there are investigators on the scene, so you can come in as you please. But, ordinarily, a security card is required to enter this orca pool room. And the victim and Sasha Buckler were the only ones who possessed this card. And yesterday, the day of the incident, there's proof this suspect's card was used. Wasn't this in an, uh, the, hmm, what was it, uh, case 1-5? Uh, from the ashes, or rising from the ashes, whatever this case is called. 
uh, there was something about a key card there as well. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with reusing some things because you're reusing them in different ways. I'm just saying, I, I think that was a thing, right? Security card added to the court record. And we had to like get the time and use the time of the cards to, you know, figure out what was going on. Ob objection! Somebody else could have used Miss Buckler's card. Oh my, I guess that would be one possible explanation. Hehe, <laughs> didn't I sound just like a lawyer right there? Yeah, we'd kind of be in trouble if you didn't. <laughs> Except the suspect confirmed she entered the room at the time that the record states. She said she was here from 3 to 6 a.m. on July 20th. Apparently, she was giving the orchid pool room a good cleaning. Cleaning? In the middle of the night? Well, yeah, she said that a lot of the heavy duty cleaning is only done at night. The suspect also admits that she was fighting with the owner before his murder. And what's more, nobody saw the victim again after he met with the suspect. Uh, objection! Um, there must be something I can object to in there somewhere. <laughs> Save your objections for tomorrow's trial. By the way, Detective Fulbright, do you think Miss Buckler's questioning is over? No, not yet. But I told the guy in charge to take it easy on her. Why? Is something wrong? Oops, I uh, forget I said anything. It doesn't concern you anyway. But it does concern us. We intend to represent Miss Buckler. What you do? Well, in that case, I have a favor to ask. Could you get this medicine to her? Medicine? Looks like a prescription from Hickfield Clinic. Oh God, can we not go there please? Just not. Creepy guy there, it's creepy. I spent some time in that hospital myself. We confiscated it from her home when we were doing a search. I can't get away here, so if you can make sure she gets ill, that would be great. Medicine, huh? Does Miss Buckler have some illness? Um, I think that's the kind of question you'd better ask her. Injustice we trust! Now I need to go back to the investigation. Description back added to the court record. See some Sasha's residence? She apparently had this filled at the Hickville Clinic. We can give it to her as soon as they let us talk to her. And we had to return her calendar to her as well. If we can't see Sasha or investigate, we should question people at the aquarium. Okay, so I, I assume that's all with him. We don't probably don't need to show him old evidence, but how about the new stuff we just got? Please give that to Sasha Buckler. It's very important that she has it. You're pretty considerate, aren't you? Even to a suspect. Of course, I treat everyone justly and fairly, no matter who they are. In that case, you'll share the prosecutor's information with us, right? It's only fair. Hmm, you got a point there, but... Mm, Goy the pickle! His heart is filled with confusion. I don't think we'll get him to listen now. Yeah, I didn't really think that was going to work. <laughs> Haha, -ha, I have nothing to say about that, so leave me alone. Uh, we can actually go through his false statements incredibly fast. So even though we might have already done this, it, it doesn't hurt just to take 30 seconds to do this. Are you trying to bite me? What a heinous act! I'll bring down justice upon you! Uh, this is food for the penguin. I wasn't trying to give it to you. What kind of person gets fish as a bribe? <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. All kinds of people try to buy the police's favor. A politician once even sent me some raw meat as a bribe. Raw meat? So what did you do with it? Well, it goes without saying. I returned it to him and then I arrested him. 
The meat was rotten by the time he got it back, though. <laughs> Must have been a pretty rotten day for the politician altogether. Ah, you see, that was totally worth it. The poor victim, it's heart wrenching, and now I can skip through this, which means we've already seen it. So I guess that ends the line of dialogue with Mr. Justice Wilbright. Let's move on then. Where are we going? We are going to, let's check the aqua tunnel first, then we'll go to the pub of danger. Okay. Let us move to the pub of danger. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium. Pablo Danger. Huh? That door is open. It was closed yesterday. Well, you know what we have to do, right? Of course, boss. Will you sit in and check it out? Whoa! Oh my god. Look at the little penguin monitor. Oh, little penguin. I swear, I missed my calling in life. I should have been a, what was it called, an ornithologist? Did I just say ornithologist? No, orny, orny, as in a bird. God. Hey, you two. Oh my gosh, your mask is incredible. Can I have your mask, please? Because that is awesome. Uh, who barged into this lab without permission? Eek, what's sorry. Are you Mr. Crab or Dr. Crab? My apologies, sir. She insisted. Don't throw me under the bus, Mr. Wright. Oh, now it looks all serious. Well, the polite thing to do is knock and ask if you're gonna come in. Now, start over. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, come in. Thank you. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, now, uh, what can I do for you, medical problems? I need to make him like more strict because it looks like he's ready to like beat someone. So I need to give him that gruff with the oldness. Um, uh, yes, I'm not feeling super good at the moment. We're not making any progress on this murder investigation and... Uh, hey, miss, uh, where is the patient? Don't you have your uh, pet with you? Oh, wait a minute. Well, that was my last job. This is the aquarium. Hmm. I was exhausted from all that questioning. Must have fallen asleep. What's with this guy? You know what he almost looks like? And I haven't actually seen the show, so I could be completely wrong. Uh, the main actor from... What was that anime? The space one. Outlaw something. Uh, they made a Netflix show at it of it that I think everyone hated. Uh, but yeah, if you give him like black hair instead of gray, it kind of looks like that guy. But what's with this guy? Well, my apologies. I just woke good. I was a little groggy. I'm Dr. Herman Crab. Aha, you see, I told you we'd see this guy. Well, I'm Ship Shape Aquarium's resident veterinarian. Oh. You're the Dr. Crab Mr. Rhymes mentioned yesterday. And Rhymes also mentioned he hadn't seen Dr. Crab around. Wonder where he was. Son of a gun. Oh, he's got a little pig with his hair. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, I, I, I don't want this guy to be the killer. He's, he's too dang cute. Or the little penguin's too dang cute. Guy is so cute. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> if you don't know, I love penguins. All right. <laughs> this is like the first time you see Chael. It's like, what is up with this guy? Hey, look, I like penguins. Okay, I think they're awesome. I mean, there's a reason that I'm called the Footless Bird. Son of a gun! This little thing doesn't let me get any sleep. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, it's so adorable. Aw, what a cute little thing. Who is it? It's a penguin chick. Remember the little penguin species? She lives in my hair. That's, uh, what was that, um... What was that, uh, game? Uh, it was Final Fantasy 
13? Was it? I think it was Final Phase 13. Um, Saz? He's got the, uh, Jacobo birdie that lives in his hair. Right? We'll get to 13 soon on the channel, don't worry. Oh, you're so lucky. I wish I had a pet to live in my hair, especially a penguin. Athena, there are no pets allowed in my office. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Ah, oh, you're not fun. Uh, if you two don't have any particular business with me, will you please leave? I have to get ready to make my rounds. Back can you go, little one. Aww. Wait, we'd like to ask you a few questions to save Miss Buckler. Uh, hold on. Don't tell me you're the curious pair who defended Orla. That's right. Please let us ask you a little about the case. Aww, look at this so cute. Hartman, oh I gotta ask about the penguin chick. Can we see the penguin chick again? Uh, stop! Don't come any closer! Oh, so cute! Beep! Ow! I'm sorry, she attacked you. She doesn't like anyone but me, I'm afraid. Man, Athena just doesn't have any luck with penguins, does she? And that was the first one she saw when she hatched, so she thinks I'm her parent! She targets people for my hair, so please be careful! She's just like a little sniper, isn't she? <laughs> exactly! That's why I named her Sniper. Oh, it's so cute! So we got Rifle and Sniper now. That's neat. So two little penguin chicks. Or, I mean, a penguin chick and a grown up penguin. Her mother's name is Rifle. Oh, it's Rifle's kid! Oh, that's so. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that's amazing! Sniper and rifle, huh? What a dangerous sounding mother and daughter. So, this is Rifle's daughter, which means both mother and daughter now hate me. Must run in the family, I guess. Uh, little penguins are generally belligerent little creatures. It's hard to get them to warm up. But they're nocturnal, so you might be able to touch them during the day. You and Sniper get along well, don't you? Just like Sasha and Ola. But unlike Sniper and me, two of them seem to truly understand one another. That is what keeps them awake every night! I won't sleep until she leaves the nest! Aww, it's so adorable! Oh, that's so great. I, I love, I love every second of this. Like, every single second. This is amazing. It must be right for him, but it's pretty cute to watch for us. It's like he's playing whack-a-mole. Hermit Crab. Hermit Crab? My name is Herman? Okay, I mean, nothing against it, just... I, I don't know, it, it just... Herman Crab. Hermit Crab! There we go! I'm like, why, why is it that Hermit just sounds like a weird name for a guy named Crab? He's a Hermit Crab. Ah, I think that's it. Dr. Crab, were you gone from the aquarium yesterday? Well, that's right. I had some minor business at the Super Marine Aquarium. The, the, the Super Marine? It's a funny name for an aquarium. The Super Marine Aquarium is the nation's biggest dolphin therapy treatment center. I go there myself. I'm friends with the dolphins. You and Apollo were talking about animal assisted therapy yesterday, weren't you? I got to go to the Supermarine once a month, but I live here, of course. You live here at the aquarium? Well, that's right. I have a sleeping bag there. Sometimes I use the nap room. I'm responsible for the health and well-being of all the marine creatures here. If any of them have a sudden medical emergency, I'll be here to help them. Wow, you're kind of rough around the edges, Dr. Crab. But you care about your work. Uh, hey, uh, buddy. Is this young lady trying to pick a fight with me? I apologize for her, sir. She tends to be too honest. Uh, well, uh, you're no paragon of politeness either, apparently. 
about the murder. Can you tell me anything about Jack Shipley's murder? Yeah, I still can't believe Jack is gone. He's the one who brought me on board. How could he up and die on me? Did you and Mr. Shipley get along? Well, we he loved all animals and fish. But I'm not like that. But I still took pride in my work as a vet, nonetheless. Oh, we got along as well as business associates. And it's thanks to him our laboratory is what it is today. It is a pretty amazing laboratory. Ah, oh, you had discerning taste, I see. I could tell you more about my lab if you'd like. Okay, tell us about your lab. This place is just filled with electronics. What are those monitors for? Essentially, the digital medical records for all the creatures here. I can also view the feed from the visitor's corridor security camera here. Well, that way I can see the silly mother penguin when she tries to escape! So, you were the one who gave the security footage to the police. <laughs> I can't. I just... <laughs> this aquarium. No, I wasn't here yesterday, but I did get my permission for them to take it. And I gave them a statement about Jack and Sasha arguing. Oh, so you're the one who witnessed it. Well, that's right. It was late in the evening of the 19th, or maybe about uh, midnight. I saw them fighting near the aqua tunnel. I don't know what the argument was about, though. Are you sure you should be talking to us about this? I'm not taking sides. I'll give information to anyone who wants it. Now, what you do with that information at Sasha's trial, well, that's up to you. Wow, you're kind of rough around the edges, Dr. Cobb. But you're a pretty nice guy. <clears throat> you are trying to pick a fight, aren't you, young lady? Ah, isn't that cute? He's easily embarrassed. Beep, 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 beep! Ah, you son of a gun! Are you hungry again already? And that silly mother penguin's the one to be found again! Beep, 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 beep! Ah, would you quit peeping in my ear? Pointing to a walkie talk. Rifle is somewhere around the aqua tunnel. If you see her, uh, could you bring her to me? I have to go examine some other creatures. No sweat. And this time, I'll get her to like me too. Rifle has escaped again? What is she, the Houdini of the Penguin World? <laughs> There's no guarantee we'll find her right away, but let's head for the Aqua Tunnel. I didn't get a chance to show many evidence. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium. Aqua Tunnel. <laughs> Not her again. Egg, it's you too. The blue and yellow duo. I'm very angry about what you did this one. Uh oh, we ran into the sea lion before our penguin. <laughs> I write the truth, and I will find the truth with my own eyes. I won't be bested by the legs of the blue and yellow duo. When do we become the blue and yellow duo? Athena will never give up. In that case, I'll leave the questioning to you, Athena. Well, thanks a lot, Widget. Well, at least she's a worthy adversary. Okay, let's do this. Ha ha ha. You'll do great. You know, being the boss isn't half bad. Last year's coup. Have you been gathering material about last year's incident ever since? Well, that is correct. An acquaintance of the victim asked me to look into it, you see. An acquaintance of the victim? I refuse to divulge any information about my clients. The aquarium is saying it was an accident, but I don't believe that's the truth. It seems to me that they're all hiding something, every last one of them. The only thing I can think is that the killer whale murdered that poor girl. But you don't even know if that's true or not. That's enough of you, yellow girl. 
As I said, I'm still investigating the matter. Once I learned the truth, I plan to write a sequel to this book. She's completely taken with her investigation. I came to make a report on the anniversary of the previous trainer's death. Only to find the acquired owner murdered! I was deeply shocked! So this incident happened on the exact same date as the last one. Huh. It can't, uh -huh, it can't be a coincidence. Yeah. Anyway, we better ask Mr. Plume about today's trial. Today's trial. So you heard Ola sing, and that's when you realized something was happening? Correct. Oh, it's all so galling. I can't still can't believe the culprit is me, no matter Bloom. In any case, I swear that Killer Bear's song brings misfortune. Last first last year, and now again. A fun song like that? How could it bring a misfortune to anyone? You think that the prosperity song is fun? Well, I, I never understand the taste of children. I don't remember that swashbuckler spectacular song being all that barbaric. Well, if you don't remember it, I will gladly sing it for you. A vast mateys, land lovers ho, hand o'er all your gold. Village plunder, then feast like kings, them's the joys of piracy. Yeah, we're going full One Piece with that. Like, very full One Piece. And did, is it me? Did, did that girl look like she was Nami? Uh, I, I, I almost can... Hold on. Um, did Nami have hair? No, Nami had her hair down. She didn't have her hair on, like, pigtails like that. Right? Yeah. She looks a lot like Aika from... Skies of Arcadia Legends, which is very funny because there's another girl in Legend of Dragoon that looks like Aika from Skies of Arcadia Legends. Uh, but yeah, that's that's almost guaranteed to be allusion to uh, uh, to Nami, and I mean that definitely is what was her name? Um, Val no Val Valdor is Valdor is the slime anime. That's it's, it's not her. Um, what's that woman's name? Uh, I can't remember. Alvida. That's it. Alvida. Uh, so I guess she's a reference to Alvida then. That was a really weird though, how she just went full pirate mode on us. <laughs> I love this game. It's so great. You can just be playing along and nothing happens. And all of a sudden, like, boom, they give you that. And it's not to say nothing is happening. I'm just saying that you would never expect her to be doing a pirate themed Vignet, whatever, and then boom, the game gives it to you, and it's just awesome. That's how it goes. Now, what is fun about those lyrics? Pray tell. She seemed to be enjoying it well enough. Yeah, she did. Wait a minute, that isn't the Swashbuckle Spectacular song. No, it wasn't. This is a song from the Swashbuckle Spectacular. We swim through storms and waves all because you see got treasure and adventures waiting just for me I like I liked uh Phoenix with the bandana and all so I'm in many ways Athena is Nami which is great I, this this whole thing is great I need to watch more one piece anyway what was that I've never heard that song before really why why do we have two different songs what it's the song that they used in this respect of spectacular. Oh, we be pirates. We love to sail the seven seas. Nah, I don't know the words. I'm sorry. Just a bunch of scallywags, we're free as we can be. We swim through storms and waves all because you see. Great treasure and adventures waiting just for me. I don't know if that was accurate. I did the best I could. But that can't be. It's completely different from the song a year ago. Avast, mateys, land lovers, ho. Hand over, ah, you go. Village plunder the feast like kings. Them's the joy of pirating. Unless you show me some proof, I won't believe your song is right. 
Oh, we have poop. We have the CD. I don't know if I made her sound like Athena or not there. It's really hard to do when you're trying to sing a song, especially someone who can't sing. Look <laughs> her. She's so stubborn. Well, if it's poof she wants, it's poof she'll get rid she'll get of the swashbuckler spectacular song. Yep, 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 yep. You don't need to tell me twice. This recording contains the swashbuckler spectacular song. In it, you can hear Miss Buckler and Orla singing together. I love Orla, she's great. We swim through storms and waves, all because you see, grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. You can show that like 10 more times, and I still think it's great. Because it's a much more upbeat song, whereas um, in the last game, you had that really slow song that. While it was pretty, it was super slow. I mean, these are more upbeat and jiving. So I can, I feel like I can listen more to these. Whereas, whereas the other song has faster diminishing returns. Because the more you listen to the other song, uh, the more I really feel like the emotion just drains from it because you get used to it. But these songs, you can just hum these songs like all over the place and you'll still be dancing to them. But, but I've never heard this song before. Huh? But they always sing the song during the Swashbuckler Spectacular. Well, I haven't seen the show recently. A year ago, they used the song that I sang to you. I'd recognize it anywhere. Perhaps that killer whale could sing two songs. No. It's been very clear that it only knows one. According to Miss Buckler, only only knows one song. Then, what was that song that I heard? We wish we knew. But then again, there was another trainer a year ago, right? The orca sang a song. She isn't supposed to know how to sing? Swashbuckler video updated in the court record. The show song on the video is different from the one De Plume heard. It's obvious I have a lot more investigating to do on the ship ship aquarium. And perhaps I better look into the Center for Dangerous Animal Control as well. The Center for Dangerous Animal Control? What's that? Can you tell us about this Center for Dangerous Animal Control? Just as the name implies, it's an organization that monitors dangerous animals. The center demanded that the aquarium put the killer whale down a year ago. Who put her down? But the aquarium owner refused the demand, saying it was an accidental death. But I hardly think a persistent organization like that would just go and go away. I'm quite sure the power of money helped convince them. What makes you think that? What a month the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that each time a large sum of money was being paid out. Oh, and you think the money was going to the Center for Dangerous Animal Control? Hmm, I'm looking into it now. You'll have to wait until my book comes out to see. In any case, I can't get that man out on anything. But that veteran is not to be trusted. Uh, the veterinarian? Uh, Dr. Herman Crabb? But there's still so much we don't know about him. Well, I don't see a rifle here. What do you want to do next? I think we'll best stop by the office and discuss a plan of action. Alright, well, we know where we're going next. Well, I mean, I haven't... I do have new evidence. And we've already seen her fail save. It's an autograph you want. I'll give them up to anyone, no matter who it is. But make sure you read the entire book before you ask. After all, the worth of a book is not who the writer is or what the cover looks like. Huh? That actually made sense. I'll be sure to read it. I read it. I hate to admit it, but I thought it was very well written. <laughs> well, well, yellow girl. I just might have to learn your name. Really? It's Athena Sykes. 
I simply wrote to the banana girl when I signed your book because of the yellow, you see. <laughs> but banana girl, that's the worst one yet. Shout out to Banana Tom. Our, our dear friend Banana Tom. He's the one who gave me the um the uh the penguin avatar that you see on streams. Uh much love to you, buddy. I know you don't probably will never watch this video, but Banana Tom, he's awesome. So do you regret being a fan now? I, I think what I'll do is I'll put Banana's uh, Twitch in the description below if I can remember to do so. So check that out and go give him a follow on Twitch. It's free, doesn't hurt. He's a great guy, you'll love him, he's hilarious. Okay. I can't believe it. A song I never heard before. Of course, I haven't seen the show since the incident a year ago. Uh, why not? Because the owner was in the show and I thought it best that he didn't see me. I've been banned from the aquarium. After all. Being able to say that with your hand held high proves you're somebody who matters. And being able to say that right in front of somebody proves you're a newbie, Athena. Okay, I, I think we've, uh, like, all this other evidence are stuff that we've already had before. But you know what, let's, um, let's just be extra persistent. Yeah, you see, we've already done this other evidence before. Okay, I, I think we can, no, I keep forgetting, I can skip tests, I've already seen my holding down circle instead of mashing a button. Okay, go to the office, right? Right? Yes, the right office. The right agency office. July 21. Oh, I'm sorry. The right anything agency. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Wow, you pulled Mr. Nick's cell phone from your magic panties. That's amazing. Hee-hee. <laughs> That's all for Tracy's Magic Show. Come back and see me next time. Great job, Tracy. You never failed to impress. I have no idea how you did that either. We're back. Oh, Pearls, stopping by for a visit. Hey, hello, Mr. Nick. Are you missing something? Uh, thanks. Out of the old magic panties, huh? How is the investigation going, Mr. Wright? Uh, hello. Uh, the investigation? We don't have much time, but we didn't get a chance to check out the crime scene yet. I see. Oh, speaking of checking out the crime scene, Daddy, you should bring your forensic kit with you. Bring your paint powder to check for prints and luminal testing fluid to look for blood? Oh, I always like doing that. Wow, Trucy, I didn't know you had stuff like that, too. Hehe, <laughs> I got them from a detective friend of mine. Oh. Let me guess, is her name Miss Sky? Uh, Mr. Nick, I'd like to help you with your investigation. Can I borrow your for forensic ink? <laughs> oh, dear Lord Pearls, you are adorable, absolutely. I feel bad making you work when you're supposed to be here having fun. Uh, I don't mind. And I'd like to see Rifle again, too. Absolutely, I would, too. If you have anything for me to do, I'd like to help, too. Yeah? Well, thanks. I'll be sure to ask you if anything comes up then. Well, I'll be right here. Hanging around, waiting, watering Charlie, if you think of anything. Haha, I appreciate that, Paulo. I've got some good kids here. Yeah, you do. Alright, team. Let's do our best. I have faith we can save Sasha all together. It sure feels nice to be part of a great group like this. I just want to say that I really love working here with all of you fabulous people. Thank you for bringing me aboard, boss. It's the same here, Athena. She's so earnest. She's making me blush. Okay, let's all run over to the aquarium. I hope I can be of some use with the forensic king kit. <laughs> uh, hey, wait up, you two. They left without me.
July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium Orca Pool. Injustice, we trust. Good timing. We're done with the crime scene for now. And we're just about to examine this show stage. Well, and Rhymes help with the cleaning, so we've got to go talk with him. I thought he'd be more tight lipped than this, but hey. You're welcome to go around here now if you like. Thank you. I think we'll do just that. Oh, by the way, if you want to examine the bottom of the pool, I recommend using that hoist over there by the ladder to get down there. That crane like thing hanging from the ceiling, right? Alright, I got it. Just stand on the ladder platform and the police guard will operate it for you. Thanks. Why couldn't the pool be less deep? <laughs> well, good luck to us both, and just as we draw! Now that Detective Fulbright's gone, we can do anything we want here. The guard is still here, so keep your voice down when you say stuff like that, Athena. Examine. Let's see what we got. Okay, so some new stuff. Yesterday, I asked around about this orca pillar in me now. They said that this horse is used to move equipment and even Ola herself. How do they move Ola? Hehe, <laughs> I thought you asked that. Apparently, they use a stretcher made especially for an orca. Well, what do you know? Athena looks pleased with herself. It looks like the water was drained for the police investigation. It seems kind of sad somehow without the water. When something like that was there before, it's suddenly gone. It has a psychological effect. Like, for example, if all the magic pops in the office were suddenly put away neatly, I don't think that's ever going to happen as long as Trucy continues to practice magic. Well, she might not always be interested in magic, you know. She's at the age when young women start to worry about their future. The same thing happened to me, and I ended up becoming a lawyer. I am pretty sure Trucy will always be interested in magic. She can become a magical lawyer. Let's use our hoist to go down to the bottom of the pool. Uh, oh look, they got her like on this side and then stuff on this side. Super cool. I like how they divided up the pool. This must be Ola's bedroom. There's even a sofa and everything. Ola, congratulations on your not guilty verdict, but we um, we sort of have bad news. Now, Sasha has been arrested instead. Aww. Ola seems sad. I'm sure she is. I can sense the sadness filling her heart. Don't worry, Ola. We'll save Sasha. I think Ola's wishing us good luck. Ola really seems to understand what we're doing. She can't understand her words, but I bet she can understand our hearts. They, ca they call this the captain's cabin on TV. Every night, by the light of the lantern, Ola pours over her treasures. Hmm, sounds like more like a miserly housewife going over the family finances. Aw, oh, come on. A map, a compass, and a spooky skull shaped rock. Ola's room is filled with pirate pizzazz. But the skull rock seems out of place. Doesn't go with the other things, so it's a pirate thing. Yeah, it does seem pretty weird to have a big skull rock next to your desk. Maybe Sasha wasn't finishing arranging the set. When it comes to Ola, Sasha doesn't seem like the type to leave anything half done. Her state of mind when she puts it there, that could be the key to this mystery. And I bet it's a mystery that I could solve. Never mind that mystery. Let's get back to the investigation. So I can't use anything on that? Wow, look at all that treasure. Those jewels in the crown are huge. They sure are. I guess everything is size large around here. No, everything is size Ola. <laughs> I stand corrected. 
Uh, is this a good time to get started, Mr. Nick? Huh? Start it with what? Uh, this is a crime scene, right? So, this should be the perfect place to start the forensic king. She's so adorable. She wants to use the forensic kit so badly, she's practically beaming. Okay, let's do it. Forensic king, it is. Aww. Hooray, I get to help. Aww, of course you do, Pearls. You're awesome. Alright, we'll need these. Okay. Um, what's with the glasses, Mr. Wright? It's not like they're a fashion statement. We need them to see if there's any blood. Alright, Pearls, you spray the luminol wherever I need it, okay? Got it, Mr. Nick. I, I won't miss an inch. Got your glasses on, everybody. Whoa! Good. Now to check the bottom of the pool. So vile. Wait, Ola? Oh, hello! That actually did something. Uh, oh, no! Uh, I'm so sorry. I got someone Ola by mistake. Calm down, Pearly. It's okay. Look, there are luminal reactions on Orla, too. The poor thing was bleeding yesterday. The luminal must be shown here injuries. But wait a minute. Mr. Bloom said the blood disappeared when Orla put on the hat. Huh? So should our injury be under a hat? Yes, they should. If this blood isn't from Orla's injuries, then what could it be? Weird. Uh, look, I see something. If your deductions are correct, boss, I guess the luminal reaction means that the victim hit his skull shaped back when he fell to his death. I guess so. That would be the... That would be the, um... What's it called? The, uh... The contusion from the head trauma. So, not only did he fall 65 feet, but he landed right there. I guess so. Skull rock added to the court record. There's a blood stain on the rock. The victim may have struck him when he fell to his death. Oh, that's it? I want to do more forensic king. I guess that's about it for inside the pool. Then let me just get a quick photo to remember the occasion by. It's not every day we get to see the bottom of the aquarium pool. Yay, that's a good shot. I'll mark the luminal reactions where... I think I totally messed up that sentence. I'll mark where the luminal... I'll mark where the luminal reactions were. There we go. Yay, my first collaborative work with Pearly. Pool bottom photo added to the court record. A photo of the bottom of the pool location of the bus did take with the luminal are sketched in. Huh? I hear something. What's up? Ola? Boss, something's wrong with Ola. What? You're right. She's listless and she's sinking. Uh, oh no, maybe it's because of that luminal I got on her. What do we do, Mr. Nick? We can't do anything for her ourselves. Let's get Dr. Crab. I'll run and get him. Uh, what's all this condition? She's listless and sinking. Maybe she's unconscious. Uh, the pool is drained. Son of a gun, who did this? Uh, she'll drown unless we do something. Here, g give me a hand. Huh? Us? No, I meant the steel samurai. Of course you. Just help me. What? Uh, all right. Uh, what do you want us to do? Uh, there's no time to fill the pool to get her up to the top. you got to get the orca stretcher. It's a piece of black cloth with skull and a crossbow on it. It looks like a pirate flag. When the stretcher is ready, you press the hoist button. Okay, what on it? Um. No time for Jin Jack! Get going on with that stretcher! Both all his left and right brain hemispheres are completely asleep now! She'll drown if we don't do something, you nickaboo! What does the stretcher look like again? It's a piece of black cloth with a skull and a crossbow on it. It looks like a pirate flag. 
Once the stretch is ready, press the button on the control lever and put the hoist. And hurry! I have to get back to Bambina! Alright, let's, um, this thing here. So this pirate's flag, a stretcher for the orca, huh? We can't use it with all this stuff on it. Let's clear it off. Music is so good for this part. Oh, good. Now uh, push the hoist button and lower the stretcher. Control bail is on the wall to your right. Uh, wall to your right. This thing? Ah, this must be the button and move the hoist. Dr. Crab, the stretcher is ready. Good! Oh, let's get it under the water. I'll take it from here. Stand back. I had to treat her immediately. Hmm, uh, there's something in her stomach. Did you just cut open her stomach? No. What did- I have no idea what you just did and I kind of don't want to know either. Uh, there, I got it all out. Will all that be alright, Dr. Crab? Oh yes, she, she'll be fine. She's just uh, sleeping now. Workers are mammals, so they won't die if they're out of water for a little while. But their own weight puts stress on the organs and their skin starts to dry out. I uh, put some of my special handmade cream on her skin as an emergency measure. You're better soon, Ola. Aw, oh, if only I had gotten that luminal on her. Oh, luminal? Eh, there's no problem there. I mean, that stuff just washes right off. Well, this condition has nothing to do with you, young lady. Ah, uh, really? Uh, then what is wrong with Ola? Uh, I don't need to share the information with you people. It's none of your business. Is she pregnant? I have to get back to my round, so I'll leave the rest to your crew. Wait, how would she be pregnant? She's the only killer whale. That doesn't make any sense, Flatless Fur. <laughs> Maybe she's like the Chocobos from Final Fantasy Tactic. They just... They just multiply on their own. Please give an eye on Ola while I rouse up some uh, crew members. Dr. Crab sure is acting funny. He seems to be hiding something. Maybe we should check on Ola's condition before the staff gets here. Ola, open your eyes! I know how you feel, Athena, but we better let Ola rest right now. How did this happen? Mr. Wright, we had to examine ourselves right now. I wish we could, but we're lawyers, remember? But there must be something that we could do. Well, we can investigate the cause of her condition. Don't we have evidence that might tell us something about the cause? Really? We have to use evidence? What? The prescription is for the whale, not Sasha? Well, how do I use this? Hey, there's a post of Mr. Rhymes here. Wanted, huh? Very piratey. Looks like they list the staff's likes and nicknames and other stats too. And there's a re and there's a reward about listed here. A reward? Yeah, they have this special event where they give you a prize for tagging a staff member. The bigger the reward is, the better the prize. The crew tries hard not to get tagged. Sounds like my type of event. I would totally dominate in a game like that. Uh-oh, her competitive fire is starting to blaze out of control. Look at all those pirate hats. Ola must really love those things. The parrot hat, the star above her eye, and a white mustache are her trademarks. Without those things, she'd look just like any other orca. Even with a hat, she looks still like any other orca to me. 
I bet no ordinary orca could do that lifesaver trick. Hmm. How could you lump Orla in with all the other orcas like that, Mr. Knight? Oops. I forgot how much of a fan Athena is. Is this? It's like a pill? We should check out the contents of Orla's stomach. I guess. Hey, I see something mixed in with the fish. It looks like a medicine capsule. There's something written on it. I think it says three Zs. What would it be doing in Orla's stomach? Mysterious capsule added to the court record. The strange capsule that was found at Willow's stomach three Z's is printed on it. I wonder what kind of medicine it is. Let's go ask Dr. Crab. It might have something to do with Ola's condition. Maybe we better not ask. He must have noticed it himself, yet he didn't mention it. I think he's hiding something about Ola's condition. If we show him the capsule, we might try to take it away from us. Yeah, I guess it was acting pretty sketchy. Okay, let's look into our cells then. Good idea. When we get back to the office, we can ask for Apollo's help. I guess that wraps up our investigation here. Ola still isn't fully awake yet. Oh, here comes some staff. Uh, looks like they're going to put Ola back into the pool. And I guess they're going to fill the pool back up. But that will take a while. Well, I guess we can leave Ola in the staff's capable hands now. Right. So, where to now? Let's head to the show stage next. If we're lucky, the police will be done with the place. Uh, show stage. Oh! Brand new location. Why don't we save this for next time? Yeah, why don't we save it for next time? Uh, my name is The Flatless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel. I want to say... You guys are the best. Truly, the number one YouTube community on of YouTube. I have said that for a while now, and I believe it. And I will always believe it, because you are all the greatest. You matter. You're important. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.